I, I don't have any patience for, for, for that. I mean, you know me, I, I want it done the right way, but we, we have to have a quarterback that we can trust uh, that's going to take great care of the football, that's going to get us in the right play. So, you know, as we move forward here, it's, it's, it's developing that trust with our quarterbacks and, you know, not accepting anything less than, uh, you know, that, that level of trust of taking care of the football. So that, that was the emphasis in the spring. And that will continue to be the emphasis that the starting quarterback uh, against Navy is, is the guy that, that we believe, you know, carries those traits with him and, and that we can trust that he's going to make good decisions. I, I don't want to make this more than it is. It, it's, I have not decided. The question was asked, do you have an idea? I've got an idea, but an idea is all I have. I don't, it's not like it's this guy and we are set for it. Or I would be less than honest in answering the question relative to reps that was asked earlier. I, we, I've got an idea, but we've got to see how this plays out. And so, you know, we're going to have to rep these guys. We're going to have to give them a lot of work, uh, a lot of situations. Um, we'll be doing a lot more 11 on 11 um, where we, we've got to put our players, in a particular the quarterback, in as many situations that put 11 players out on the field at one time. Half line, seven on seven, inside drill, all great drills. Don't get the quarterback to the level that we need to. So uh, a lot more 11 on 11 reps for this football team to help us answer that question. If he plays well against Navy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if, if, honestly, if, if, if we get the guy and, and he starts against Navy and he doesn't play very well, I don't want him to start next week, nor do you. Um, but I would like, like everybody else, to prepare somebody and, and have a great game against Navy and then make it a difficult decision uh, what you do in week two. Did you get much of a sense about what you have there with Ferguson, Neal, and Brown? Yes. And how do you feel about those guys? <laughs> uh, they got great film from high school, and I just usually follow your star ratings and put all my stock in your ability to evaluate them, and you think they're really good. So I'm going to rerun back to the office and s slot them in. Big picture, I think at this time last year, you talked about the ingredients of this team. You, you really like the makeup of your roster, kind of yeah. where things were set up. How do you feel about that dynamic right now in terms of the ingredients you have uh, and you know, whether you have enough ingredients to, to achieve at the level you want to and need to here? I think a lot of it is, uh, you know, we just – there's so much more of a comfort level that I have with the players and they have with me, you know, after three years. They, they know me a lot better. I know them so much better. So there's just, that, there's just a sense and feeling within the room that we're all on the same page. And I think that happens over time. You, you, you know, you wish you could get it done immediately. Uh, but I think going into year three, there's definitely a connection uh, that we all have. And, and, uh, Maybe it's, it's because I'm doing a better job, too, as the head coach.